you can... And, and I think every, every organisation will have its own guidelines in terms of the ethics of what you can do and what you can't do and what you need to state on screen or not state on screen as depending <coughs> on whether you're using actors or not. Um, I suppose the, the, the other thing is you need to be depicting something that is essentially truthful. Uh, and in the UK we have this thing called Clearcast. Uh, Clearcast dictate what we can and can't say. Um, and in different countries you will have your own clearance systems which are sometimes a centralised system, sometimes it's about individual channels or individual broadcasters dictating what you can and can't say, but you will have some form of uh, copy clearance that will dictate what you can say, what you can't say, and what time of day you can say it as well. Um, so Mitch was talking earlier about the states. Yeah. Uh, in America, we can't show blood on TV. Uh, so if it was an injured animal or a person you just can't show blood in TV advertising or films. In Holland, you can show just about anything you want. <laughs> <laughs> and in, fact, in fact, Amanda Seller, who uh, Mitch mentioned earlier, has an interesting theory about what you can show in fundraising TV is directly comparable to a nation's attitudes to pornography. <laughs> Discuss. <laughs> uh, yeah, but let's let's not. Could you, could you give a few examples of this clearcast? Because I have no idea. All oh, right. Okay. So so and, and again, uh, clearcast is, is just UK based. But to mm. give you an idea, uh, they will dictate. Um, what what we try to do in the UK is get something that's called an X Kids rating. So an X, X Kids rating means we can show our ad in daytime TV which we need to be able to do, because that's when people are more likely to respond in a, a cost-effective manner. But we can't show that ad adjacent to children's TV because it's deemed to be too potentially distressing. And again, that's a good thing. We don't want to distress kids. So they will look at things like the language that you use, the imagery that you use. Um, I've even had an occasion where the edit and the script was signed off but then they asked questions as soon as we put the soundtrack on it because the soundtrack made it even more emotional and, and for them tipped them over a, a certain uh, point that they didn't want to go good. Subjective. Yep. Uh, we, we also have, there are also rules in different countries about campaigning. You mentioned campaigning earlier. In the UK it's illegal to use TV for campaigning activity um, uh, which Thankfully, means we don't get political TV advertising in the UK. There isn't any. Oh. Yeah. We don't get well, it in the US. Also, also just yeah. to add, for, for Australia, we have very similar yeah. um, broadcast clearance authority who have actually overtaken the UK in terms of being really strict. Very strict. With yeah. what you actually can put on air. So they're actually moving more towards the US in terms of the shocking imagery that you use mm -hmm. and the wording. So saying, you know, child starving to death, you're not allowed to see lines like that but most other markets it's self is called self clearing and Malaysia is slightly different but it's normally the broadcast regulators will actually clear for each TV station independently which helps in a lot of respects.